Hello everyone, my name is Karim and welcome to Fuzzy Feet Footwear. I'm a UK based part time shoe reseller. I buy smelly old shoes for as low as I possibly can and I sell them online on eBay for a profit. So I thought I'd uh, take you through the sales that I had on the weekend just gone, 4th and 5th of March 2023. I had 11 in total coming in at £372 before fees. Um, so the first pair going out the door today are a pair of brooks ravenna free models brooks is a great brand to sell um they retail at a hundred pound upwards so have a decent second hand value um i always pick up brooks when i find them whether that's online or in the field um so long as i can get them for a decent price they don't tend to hang around for for long either because they are highly desirable so yeah these brooks have gone for 25 pounds plus postage to give you a bit of context around the postage i don't offer free postage whatsoever for any shoes that i sell um, i offer a flat fee of four pounds 99 and all my shoes go through second class signed for royal mill so yeah I paid three pounds for this three into 25 not a bad start right sticking with brooks i have these brooks asteria and these are a men's size 10 and a half um lovely neon fluorescent and black colorway um i paid three pounds for these from vinted and they've gone for 45 pounds plus postage so yeah um, brooks is definitely a stable winner for me definitely a really good bread and butter the third pair that's going out the door today are these Reebok Aztrek Classic Trainers. Um, they have a combination upper of suede, mesh, and canvas. Um, got a nice colorway to it. It's got cream, it's got purple, black, and pink. They did stick around for about two, three months. I was considering at one point bringing down the price, but I'm glad I didn't. They've gone for 40 pounds plus postage, full asking price. So yeah, really happy with that. Not sure I'd pick it up again, only because of the amount of time that it sat for. But then saying that, 40 pounds from three pounds can't go wrong. All right, moving on to the Salomon um, trail shoes. Now, Salomon is a great brand. Again, more popular in America, not easy to come by over here, but if you see it, do not ignore. That's the, uh, the logo. The logo. Um, so yeah, great shoe. They do trail shoes, they do running, they do casual, they do boots, um, and they all tend to retail really high and sell very well secondhand. So yeah, very happy with these. These have gone for 30 pounds plus postage. The next one out the door is probably the pair of the weekend and a great bolo these are the nike fly knit racer running shoes um i paid five pounds for these from vinted uh, those of you that follow me on instagram fuzzy feet footwear will have seen when i shared a uh, a screenshot of the listing from vinted um so i bought these for five pounds and they went for 99 pounds 99 so yeah very happy with that um the reason why it sold for a really high amount is because of the colorway, the black and white. They call it the Oreo effect. Super popular, super desirable. Flyknit is just a great model of Nike to sell. So if you see any Flyknit Free Run, Flyknit Max, Flyknit Racer, do not turn your nose up on this because it's a really good solid sell. Next on the list are these diesel um, women's walking shoes um again it's got a upper combination of leather canvas and suede really cool walking shoe um these were sold these were listed and sold within three hours to someone out in denmark they paid me 32 pounds and they paid 31 pounds for postage so yeah i hope um whoever bought these get some real good use out of this next on the list are these really cool pink air force one trainers um they are a size 6.5 women's i bought these for four pounds fifty that was my average buy cost that day when i um bought a bundle of trainers at a vintage wholesale um so yeah four pound fifty they've gone for 40 pounds plus postage i am going to miss these they sort of lit up the room and made my storage look nice and pretty so yeah really happy with these um £4.50 into £40. 
The next pair to go out the door, probably my second or third top selling brand are these ASICS Gel Excite 6 Twist. Um, these are a woman's size five. ASICS is a great brand. Similarly to Brooks, they retail really high, as high as maybe even 200, 220 pound, depending on the model. Um, and they have a great resale value. Um, if you do pick up ASICS, you want to be looking at the, the Gel Nimbus, the Gel Kayano, the Gel Quantum 360, the GT1000, the GT2000. Those are sort of like the more higher end models, but they all seem to do pretty well. So yeah, ASICS, I paid three pounds for these at a boot sale. Really good condition, nice tread, no wear and tear at all to the upper fabric. So yeah, that's gone for 39 99 Next on my list, and probably the smallest cell I've ever had since I've been doing footwear only, are these Gel Asics Blade 6. Um, they're a size 5. These are an indoor shoe, so these are ideal for like volleyball, badminton, squash, netball. Um, so I bought these for £2 on Vinted, and they've gone for £20. Um, I listed them at 29 99 but... I think it was approaching that three month cycle where I just thought, you know what, I just want to get them gone. So I took an offer of £20. So yeah, uh, happy with that, but not something I'd be in a rush to pick up next time. Right, the second to last sell are these Nike Air Flyknit Max trainers. Really cool colorway, um, Flyknit uppers, which I'm a big fan of Flyknit trainers. Um, they've got the air bubbles. It's got a really cool colorway, as I said. You've got that neon fluorescent, you've got the orange, you've got the black, you've got a nice big white swoosh tick there as well. I bought these for five pounds. Again, those of you that follow me on Instagram will see the listing snapshot that I shared, and they have gone for 60 pounds. And they actually sold quite fast within, I think, three or four days of listing them. There are nine, so I was tempted to keep them, but you know, at the end of the day, um, profit is profit. And the last pair of shoes that's going out today from the weekend are these Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 38 running shoes. Um, Nike Air Zoom Pegasus are a great model to sell. So if you do come across these in the wild and you can get them for a decent price, um, definitely worth picking up. I think I paid five or six pounds for these, so slightly more than I would normally pay, but um, I like the rose gold look and something just told me that it was worth some decent money. They've gone for £45 and they've sold quite quickly as well actually. I think just under the two week mark. Um, I had these up for £50 and I took an offer of £45. I think it's really important that you know as much as you get things in you've got to get things out as well just to keep things moving so you can you know obviously um, make some money from it but at the same time also reinvest into new stock. So there we go guys, those were my sales. Um, the total at 372 pounds, as I said earlier in the video, um, before fees. But when I look at my outlay and what I spent on them, um, I consider that to be a really good weekend for me, especially as a part-time reseller. Um, you know, I'd take that every weekend. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this content. Um, please do like this video, please do subscribe. I do hope to put out more content, hopefully, some with me on the field as well um, and then obviously showing you my hauls what I pick up and, and why